How to capitalize on enemy mistakes. The easiest way to win a fight is by exploiting a bad move from your opponent, but the hardest part of a fight is identifying those mistakes and reacting quick enough. That's why this video is about everything to look for to make a five minute fight into a five second fight. Okay, here's the first example. So a car rolls up on me and I think he's just gonna hop in the turret and try to rail me, but he actually gets out. So that's when I know it's time to push him. When I have the gatekeeper, I usually try to do these pre-fires on the walls in case they insta edit on me. And even though my opponent fell down and I needed to take this time to reload, I made sure to get that extra shot off before taking time to reload so I wasn't wasting that shell. Although you'll notice here I don't confirm the reload. I hear that auditory cue when I recock the shotgun, but for some reason I don't hold it for that 0.1 extra second and the reload doesn't go through. Okay, here's where the enemy makes a huge blunder. So I see he builds a wall up, so I'm assuming he wants to continue to ramp up and go higher. That's why I take away his ability to go up by placing that cone there. So for you guys, you need to be looking at these stairs and at these walls and making sure to to cone them off. Because of this, I have him boxed, and if I didn't actually mess up that reload, I would have been able to easily kill him right here, but I had no ammo. Luckily though, since the season just started and I'm in lower lobbies, this guy wasn't that good and didn't expect the mantle and I cleaned him up easy. Although during this fight, there was a different car shooting at us, so I didn't go and loot his body because that would have been a mistake and that's obviously what we're trying to avoid. So I back off to this car, hop into the passenger seat and heal up. And as I expected, that car drove by, was looking for me and didn't really care about the loot. So I was still able to go back and get that refresh from his body. Another little tip to improve at this game this season is carry around a DMR. This is the first season where I really think it's worth it to carry three, maybe even four guns around because of this car meta. Especially in solos, when people switch into that turret seat, they are a sitting duck, so you can get easy headshots on them. But after I killed that guy, I kept moving around, listening to where more shooting was coming from, and that's another thing you need to pay attention to. Obviously, most people know this. Go to where the shooting is if you want kills. But the extra thing you want to pay attention to is what material they're building out of and how weak their walls are. I saw that this was a freshly built wooden wall, so I shot it twice and got an easy wall take to finish this kill up in five seconds. I know that was a basic example and most people know this, but it really comes into play when you have the Nitro Fist. I showed this in one of my last videos, but if you see a weak wall, you can slam straight through it and end a fight before it even begins. And if you fuck with me in my content, please use code read the engine in the item shop or just another small up and coming creator. I always say this because one, I'm a small creator and could use it, but two, I know there's smaller creators than me that could potentially need it even more. Just whatever you do, if it's the battle pass or item shop, use someone's code. Again, it's early season, so I'm not fighting the best players, but this guy makes a huge mistake by basing up against my builds in wood. That meant the only thing between him and my edited wall is a wooden stair, so I easily shoot it out, get the cone under him, and yes, he does hit a nice shot on me and gets me weak, but really, that fight was never gonna be won by him. And I wanna show mostly build-related mistakes, but I do wanna show you the one car-related mistake you can do is when someone hops in your passenger seat, never drive uphill. The way the camera angles work when you're peeking out, trying to shoot into the driver's seat. Once you start going uphill, they have that angle, so never do that. Again, got beamed and almost died here, but I got the kill. So I'm at Lavish Lair and I see this guy below me. I'm building over to him being super aggressive and while he hits me out and hits me for 20 damage, I'm not able to stick him, but I still get that explosive damage of 66, so I know I'm healthier than him. That's why you might think me standing in front of his walls waiting to get edited on is stupid, but that is actually what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to bait his edit so I can take his wall. And that's exactly what he does and that's exactly what I do. I take his wall, again, it's just wood, so it's super weak, replace it with my brick wall and get a huge shot on him. From here, he's done almost no return damage and now he's panicking, trying to go up and I get an easy kill. Okay, I switched to creative one of ones because in rank, it was just a car fest and I wanna show you some realistic building moves. If you guys wanna see a fully dedicated car video though, I can make that. So if you want it, comment down below, but if you like what I'm doing today, drop a like and invest in the channel. Okay, so in this clip, I have two boxes made, a little bit of space, but I have nothing outside my box and nor does my opponent. When he pushes up close, he doesn't put a cone down, he doesn't put a floor down, and I know this is my chance to try and box him. When I have two boxes, I like to go to the second box over and then do a cone wall and edit from there and go for an elimination. I got a huge hit and was able to chase him down and finish him with my AR. Okay, so this next opponent, we're both trying to go up, but he doesn't have a lot of awareness at where I actually am. You can see he's 90ing and putting his back and side wall down before the wall that's facing me, so I'm able to get it. From here, I recognize he is nothing above his head and is still trying to go up, so I take that away with a cone. 
From here, I get a big shot in and now he's running away. He obviously did have that sidewall, so he was able to edit out, but this guy doesn't have a lot of awareness about cones and that's his big weakness. So I, of course, take that cone spot above him while he's trying to go up. The next thing you need to learn to do is to pre-box one of his exit routes. I saw he had a wall on his right side, so I pre-boxed his exit route on the left side, but he didn't have a back wall, so I thought he was about to run out his backside. My pre-box is going to be worthless, but 30 seconds later, it felt like he actually does run into it and I'm able to get that kill. Okay, so I know that guy does look like a bot, but he actually wasn't that bad. He just didn't have great awareness. And I say that because he's got me down to 16 HP right here. But he gets too aggressive and I get a good piece of counter damage on him. From here, he's kind of playing through my builds. And the one thing you should learn is the reset shoot trick. He thinks he's shooting me, but I reset my wall as he's doing it. So he hits that wall and then I get a free shot on him. I was again boxed up and he didn't put any counter pieces out outside, so I was able to box him up instantly. Although I will say I don't recommend doing this full quad corner edit, it's much better to just do a window. So I'm now in a situation where I'm in the same box as him and I luckily hit a big shot on him, but it's still very ropes. His mistake is fully focusing on me and my stairs instead of repositioning like I do for a better shot. So here's the flip side of that where I'm the one actually underneath the stair and I'm able to escape miraculously. So this time he actually did reposition outside of the box, but I noticed when he went for that edit that his wall was weak. So I was able to finesse with the stair a little bit and then break out through the wall that he edited. I'm still super weak, but again, this guy's aggression gets the best of him and he puts himself in a bad situation. He jumps down to chase, but I'm able to get the wall behind me and then again, again a cone on top of him for another easy kill. As I talk about this next one, I just want to give a PSA to everyone who's out there that's following me, mechanics isn't everything. This guy, as you can see, actually has pretty decent mechanics, but his awareness isn't there. He's prioritizing things like walls and floors over getting a cone and roof above his head. In this fight, I'm able to get the double edit on him twice for huge damage. So I was working on my exploits since I saw he was building out of wood, but that did get me into some dicey problems. I'm again in his box, but the thing you need to learn how to do is place that stair behind your head. That has saved me countless times in a box. And you'll notice in most of these clips, I have shield to heal up when I'm down bad, but this guy wasn't letting me heal. So that's why I had to go for continuous counter damage instead of healing up. So that last exploit didn't work, but this one does. So he's building in mostly metal and brick, but the second he switches to wood, I know I can two shot that and get in. So I do one spray with my burst SMG and then another spray with it to get inside. This time he was holding his wall. It was not at the beginning of the round. So he was so confused and I killed him instantly. This one I'm above him and the weakness I identified is he has nothing in his box. While I could try to do a floor take and then shove something in, that wouldn't do much work. So I wait till he edits open and then I put a stair above him. I do this because once he has the stair above him, he cannot reset that edit and I can jump in for the kill. This is a super easy one, but know which pieces are yours. So I'm dragging cones all over and I do notice that he doesn't have back walls. So my initial thought was to go to the back side and try to take those walls before he gets it. But then I just thought, why would I do that? I have a cone right underneath me that I can edit and it'll lead right to him. And if you're watching this because you want to get better and improve your Fortnite rank, I actually made a video about that. This is how to adjust to each new lobby after you rank up and it is adjusted to chapter five, season three. So it includes everything with cars and OP items. But again, use code read the ninja or an up and coming creators code thank you so much for watching drop a like if you've enjoyed and invest in the channel on that note i am signing off